to dessert. Fruit salad with ice cream and yoghurt. I'm hoping that's homemade ice cream and yoghurt. If not, I will be disappointed. If it's not homemade... I'm a busy man and I ain't got time to make ice cream. And there's a reason for that, and that is other people make ice cream just as well as I'd want to bother doing it. So it's a shop-bought ice cream. Is he having a laugh? <laughs> is he... is he... <laughs> is this a five-year-old's tea party? Well, he is whisking up frozen berries. Sometimes I grow my own strawberries, but it's a bit early in the season. I'm quite happy with an honest bag of frozen summer fruits. In goes live fermented yoghurt before a quick taste. I could serve that on its own. Guava, pomegranate, lychee. I'd like to see those sort of flavours, not just your bog standard apples, pineapples and pears. You're in luck. For the fruit salad, Mark picks out pomegranate seeds and slices up a mango. Beautiful, Mark. Beautiful, mate. Kiwi fruit. Very artistic. Little kiwi flower. How lovely is that? You see, it's attention to detail. In it goes. Human beings have been eating bananas upside down. If you look at a monkey, peels it from that end. Like that. And holds it by the bottom end. Which is why when you see it in cartoons, it always look like that, you see. But then maybe that's why monkeys are still monkeys. And we're here now because we've learned how to peel our bananas properly. Enlightening, man. Bananas chopped, the fruit salad will be assembled later tonight. Food's all done. I'm going to go and perm my hair, get my outfit on and start living the spirit of the festival. Off your pop. While Mark nips off for a change, his guests ponder the dress code. Festival spirit, yeah. I was hoping the wardrobe. There's plenty of clobber to put on for this one, yeah. Turn up a bit grubby, dirt under your nails, a bit pongy, you know. Everyone sharing a baby wipe. Oh. Let's make our way to the main stage. Time for Pud. Serve it up, Bosh. Home for tea and medals. It's finished with ice cream, berry puree, a smattering of pomegranate seeds and honey. More amazement coming. Let's push things forward. And here it is, fruit salad with all sorts of extras. Why is it a fruit salad to end with? Because we all like things a little bit fruity when it gets dark, you know what I mean? So uh, tuck in, hope you enjoy it. I love fruit salad. It's good. Mm. Very refreshing. I don't think you can go wrong with it. It's lovely. A bit of a treat there with the ice cream. A bit naughty, but nice. Yeah. yeah, but no, that's lovely. And that's not all. Mark's got another treat in store for the group. I can play any tune on my teeth. There's only one condition. I have to know the tune. So you have a choice. You've either got Happy Birthday or you've got the EastEnders theme tune. EastEnders theme tune. EastEnders. Mm -hmm. Time for bed, I think. The dessert tasted really good um, for what it was. Yeah, it's done really well. Dessert this evening was a letdown after the first two courses. It was sort of, it kind of, kind of felt like an afterthought. It was a fruit salad, wasn't it? I mean, <laughs> you can't really go wrong with that, can you? Simple, really worked well, to be honest. Yeah, happy with that. I'm more than happy with the pudding, more than happy with the main course. I think the main event smashed it. I'll be booked again for next year. I'm the favourite act. Scores, please. I've had a fantastic time. The food was great. I'm going to score Mark an eight. The starter and the main course were absolutely fantastic. The dessert was a letdown, um, but the rest of the evening was an absolute hoot. So Mark is going to have a lovely, groovy eight baby. Festival food. It didn't blow me out of the water, um, but I did have a fun night and Mark is such a great guy. So for that, I give him a seven. Mark was obviously the headline act, so I'm going to give him a nine. And with that, Mark skyrockets into the lead with 32 points out of a possible 40. Next time, competitive claims. I've been to dinner parties with people quite high in society. Oh, we've all done that. There is a bit of friction between Mark and Izzy. We just sit back and... And elegant entertainment. Go on, yes, yes! I don't know what part of high society wants to see their guests covered in chocolate pulling weird faces. <laughs>